The first person I ever called Godfather was Vito Corleone. I only met him a couple of times. I was just a soldier for the family back then. Times were tough. We were at war. Assassins even gunned down Vito. Sonny, his eldest, fought back while the Don recovered and paid the price. Michael, the youngest brother behind Fredo, took over the reins. He and Tom led a war against the five families. They pulled the strings, and my boss, Aldo Trapani, pulled the trigger. He's Michael's right-hand man now, running the family in New York. These days, opportunity is everywhere. But so are new families, fighting for their share. It took a man like Hyman Roth to get everyone to the table. We're gonna divide up Cuba, get richer than we ever could back in the States. This'll be good for the family, and for me. My name is Dominic. Bring it here, let me see it. My age had better be correct. I am always accurate about my age. May you live to 100, Mr. Roth. Congratulations. Cheers. Congratulations. Salute. Well, the doctors might disagree, but what do they know? <laughs> These are wonderful things we've achieved in Cuba. This government knows how to help business to encourage it. The hotels here are bigger and swankier than any of the rug joints we put up in Vegas. Not all hotels. <laughs> Michael Corleone's accepted, of course. But the point I'm making is this, that now we have what we have always needed, real partnership with a government. Salute. Cheers. Salute. And at the time of my retirement, I turn over all my interests in the Cuba operation to you, my partners. To the Corleone family and Aldo Trapani, the Hotel Capri. Grazie. The Nationale will go to Rico Granados and the Sevilla Biltmore to Samuel Mangano, here with us all the way from Sicily. The rest of you will also share in handling my non-casino operations. Gentlemen, rebels and petty criminals are Cuba's past. We are its future. Lachaim. Gendan, salute. What's on your mind, Dominic? How you enjoying Cuba? It's great, Michael. I like the little things here, you know? Nice change of pace from New York. That's good. When this deal is done, we're gonna do great things in this country. Tomorrow's a new year, my friend. The start of a new future for the Corleone family. Salud. To the future. By the way, where did Aldo go? He went downstairs for the New Year's celebration. You should talk to him. Make sure everything is set for tomorrow's meeting. Your brother is making the right decision, Fredo. I know. Mikey's got a good head on his shoulders. Do it as a favor for me. I'm Rico. Rico Granados. And you would be? Dominic. I work for Aldo Trapani in New York. 
Ah, Michael Corleone's man. I know Terpani. Tried to bring him in on a land deal in Florida. He's a smart man. The property is under six fucking feet of swamp right now. Aldo, is everything set for tomorrow's meeting? Of course, Michael. Don't worry about a thing. The rebels are violent. They're willing to die. What's the president willing to do, huh? What's going on? Everyone, please leave the hotel immediately. There's a plane waiting for us. Go. Don't make a big thing about it. Get us out of here. Jesus, sounds like a huge mob outside. They're rioters. They're not dangerous. But watch out for the rebels. Hold that gun out, Dominic. Shit, they're breaking through.
Up there! Take them out. Where'd you put the money? It's still in the hotel. trying to get out. Look, Jesus, there's so many of them. Michael, I'm sorry. Aldo... Aldo was family. I can help. When we get back to New York... I want you to make sure his mother's taken care of. Okay, Mikey. Okay. What do we do now? Roth's plan for Cuba was the one thing keeping the families from tearing at each other's throats. We needed this country. You don't think the rebels are gonna win? They've already won, Fredo. Michael, I mean, what do we do now? Our family, what about us? Nobody was going to touch New York while Aldo was in charge. Everyone will want a peace now. His own men will probably turn on each other if they think it's to their advantage. It's only a few of them I trust anyway. But I trust you with my life. Dominic, I want you to be boss, and I want you to have your own family. I trust that you can run New York, Dominic. Will you do this for me? Yes, Michael. I will. Tony and Carmine Rosado are out. Out for good. Took what they had, started their own gangs. Took what we had? It's Hyman Roth in Florida. He's backing up those sons of bitches. The Rosados never had the Colleoni. And now what? They're taking over, taking hostages. Not without help. Not without Roth. Frank, Hyman Roth isn't a part of this. Mikey's right, Frank. The Rosado brothers always been angry. Ever since Clemenza died. No. No. That was no heart attack. In any case, that's the situation. We know they're running sanitation and construction, and we know Carmine's fixing fights. Yeah, and whores, too. Ain't that Roth's game? And La Vegana? Junk? Dope? I want him dead! Frank! Frank Pentangeli. You've been loyal to this family for years. I know, Michael. But after Cuba, my business with Hyman Roth is very important. These accusations aren't fair to him or me. Fair? You give your loyalty to him before your own blood? Come on, Frankie. You know my father did business with Hyman Roth. He respected him. Your father did business with Hyman Roth. Your father respected Hyman Roth. 
But your father never trusted Hyman Roth. Are you through? Good. Dominic, stay focused on the Rosado brothers. Carmine's weak. Always has been. Send them a message. Prove to me that I was right about you. Frank's a good man, but his temper can be a problem. These accusations about Hyman Roth have to stop. They're insulting to us both. I'll keep an eye on him. Don't worry. Good. Dominic, just remember to stay focused. You're boss now. Make a name for yourself. Let Carmine know that you run New York. Organized crime is like any other profession. The key to success is crushing the competition. This is your goal. Take over every racket and every business and eliminate any rival family who stands in your way. What's stopping you? The other families will ruthlessly defend their turf and try to take back places that you control. You can't stop them by yourself. If you want to win, expand your family, improve your crew member's skills, and hire guards to protect your territory. And most importantly, learn to use the bonuses you'll earn from controlling crime rates. Do this, and you'll know what it means to be called. I think Carmine's finally getting the message that you're boss of this city, not him. Now he's getting the message all right, loud and clear. I just hope I've put enough guards at my new places. Keep them defended, Dominic. Carmine will try to take them back sooner or later. I know, but I don't want to be spread too thin. If Carmine's planning what I think he's planning, then I'm gonna need more muscle, another soldier. I agree. Frank will probably know some good places to find the recruit. Make sure to get someone whose skills complement your own. Don't ever assume your enemies will stay still. They're always planning, just like us. Having another soldier will give you an edge over whatever Carmine has up his sleeve. Why are we meeting here? Are we in some kind of danger? No. I wanted to give you this apartment. It belonged to a man who worked for my father. Luca Brazzi. It's a good place to disappear. We're Dons, Michael. Men like us can't just disappear. We need to settle things with Carmine. Make him pay for those attacks on my businesses. Payback could lead to war. But I can't say I disagree. No. You're right. It's time to send them a message. Then it's settled. I'm gonna put a hit out on one of Carmine's made men. They've been leading the attacks, and I don't think they're gonna let up. If I don't deal with them now, they'll just keep attacking. And taking out one of his soldiers, it will also weaken Carmine's family. Permanently. You're calling the shots, Dominic. You can put a hit on anyone, whenever you decide the time is right. The family takes orders from you. <laughs> I'm making the call, Frank. We're putting a hit out on one of Carmine's soldiers. Good. Let's get them all. Let's get them all now, while we got the muscle. One at a time, Frank. But it has to be permanent. Send them a message. To do that, you gotta snuff the guy so it'll get everyone's attention. Pay attention to the intel. Strangle him. Maybe put a bullet between his eyes, you know? It's gotta scare the family stiff. Otherwise, you'll never weaken him. We'll get them, Frank. One by one. But not without the right information first. Right. You need to get some dirt on your target first. Find out where he is, where he hangs out. Talk to the right people, do him a favor. You'll get the info you need. Dominic! You were supposed to be here already. I couldn't help it. Cabby dropped me off on the wrong corner. Well, get in. Buongiorno, gentlemen. What's this? It's a lucky Cena for our truce. Richie, get us some drinks. I don't like the Cena, Carmine. I take that as an insult. I'm sorry. It's our way. We're all really happy about your decision. About the peace. You're not gonna regret it. Mm-hmm. Hey, wh where's our drinks? You can't make a truce without a toast, huh? <laughs> Michael Corleone says hello. Get his head in. A cop, what the fuck? Hey, Rich, do you open or closed? Come on, no, no, not here. 
Let's jump in! Now you're asking for it! I need help! Is that the guy? Don't make me fucking shoot you! Don't do it! Authorities, Death. come on, I'll find some trouble. I see him! You got to watch him, Snipe. Fuck, you're still out there. Their blood is on your hands. Don't even think about it. Dominic. Michael? I have to be brief. Meet me at your compound. I'll see you soon. What the hell's going on here? Pentangeli's dead. It's Carmine. The truce was a setup. You should have seen it coming, Dominic. Why would Carmine betray me? It doesn't make any fucking sense. No, and neither does this truce. Someone must be pulling his strings. Let me tell you something. I can't let him get away with this. No more negotiations, no more tricks. I'm gonna enlist another soldier, and we're going to war. Good. Recruit the best man you can find. You can win this, Dominic. And after you've taken over all of Carmine's businesses, New York will belong to your family, and no one else. I know, Michael. Carmine fucked up. He messed with the wrong boss. It's time he gets what he deserves. Michael, New York is mine. I control everything. Then it's just between you and Carmine now. No, it's over between me and Carmine. I want him dead. It's your call, Dominic. You've got him on the ropes. He's probably holed up in his compound with whatever men he's got left. Then that's where it's gonna happen. That's where we're gonna end this war. An assault on Carmine's compound won't be easy. But your family's strong. You're a good man, Dominic. And a good Don. I know you'll succeed. And once you wipe out Carmine, his family will be gone. Forever. Remember, don't leave until we blow this place up.
don't even think. <laughs> Come back! On my way. Where the fuck is Carmine? We can't get through this way. Keep it to him. has got to be around here someplace. Drop it! Quick spot for a bomb, Chief. Look, if we rig that to blow, the whole place will come down. He's over there! Gun! Motherfucker! You betrayed me, Carmine. You killed Pentangeli. And now, you are gonna die. Fuck you, Dominic. Fuck you. If you kill me, my brother will hunt you down. You and all you Corleone cocksuckers, he'll make you pay. Ugh. Let me at him. Let's jump in. You don't want to stay down there forever, do you? Not so tough now, are you? Blow it up. See him? Over there! Hold still. What now? Okay, move! Come in, Dominic. Fredo! Oh, there's even better tail on the beach. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You're gonna love Florida. Let me take that. Let's go. So, Carmine Rosado, he's, um... He's not gonna be bothering us anymore. It's Tony's family. Hey, watch it! Easy, easy. You don't know how to drive down here. These gang of small potatoes, they ain't the reason Mr. Roth called you. He mentioned a family. Yeah, the Granados. Ever since Cuba, it's been nothing but war with those guys. What's their business? Guns, girls, whatever they can get their dirty hands on to make a buck. And their boss, old man Rico, <laughs> he's trouble. Made his money in construction. Probably buried a body under every house he's built. But he's connected all the way to the top. Is that so? That's why Mr. Roth called you here. Well, hopefully I'll like what Mr. Roth has to say. Mr. Roth is a great man. I so where does Mr. Roth want to meet? Him when I was just getting started in far life. from here. Don't look like a millionaire lives there. But that's just Mr. Roth's style. I guess he don't like to draw attention to himself. Mr. Roth, how are you? I haven't seen you since... Not since Cuba. I heard you got out safe. 
I'm sorry about Aldo. He was a good man. Thank you. He was a good boss. My friends tell me you're a good boss, too. A great one, in fact. A man who knows how to get things done. Lead in battle. You know how to take out a family. You mean Carmine Rosado? I mean the Granados. They're pricks. Especially their boss, Rico. He pulls a few connections downtown, and suddenly he thinks he runs everything. He's got no respect for the way we do business. So, why don't you do something about it? Because they've kidnapped one of my men. I can't make a move while the Granados have a hostage. They're watching me, but they're not watching you. Rescue him, Dominic, and I'll know that what they say about you is true. I'll know I made the right call. Christ, Dominic, you're like a one-man army. I keep stepping on my foot, man. Why don't you give me some space? Cold War is getting hot. This close to total annihilation. What does unite? Equal rights for everyone! What's going on? I can't get a flight out. Everything's closed. It's the airport workers. They're on strike. Whole place is shut down. Damn it. I need to get back to New York. What am I gonna do? Wait till it's over? And it's getting worse. Other places are threatening to strike, too. Someone's been stirring up workers all over Florida, talking about organizing labor, pooling wages, picketing. What? Someone's pushing that commie bullshit here? Sounds like it. I don't know. Mr. Roth knows more about it than I do. He's here with the friend. They're out in the parking lot. You should talk to them. The working class never gets a break. It's unfair. If those beatniks don't like it here, they can move to Russia. What's wrong? Looks like you could use some help. Yeah, I've been wronged. Son of a bitch doesn't deserve to see another sunrise. Think you'd like to help me pull the shades on this guy? Yeah. Mr. Roth, good to see you. What brings you here? I'm here about this strike. It's disrupting our business. My friend and I have a vested interest in seeing the situation resolved quickly. His name is Henry Mitchell. He's an agent with the CIA. An agent? What is this? Dominic, relax. The CIA's our friend. They've been partners with this thing of ours for over a decade. They're in the intelligence business, my boy, that's all. We keep their noses clean, they keep us informed. Simple. Talk to them, okay? Hello, it's Dominic, right? I'm Henry Mitchell. If you're wearing a wire, you better tell me now. Take it easy, I'm on your side, okay? No wire. Mr. Roth and I have been working together for a long time. I called him when I heard about the strike. Eh, they're just a bunch of picketers. They'll cool off eventually. No, it's not them, it's the guy behind them. Alejandro Almeida. He's a Cuban-American and a fucking commie. He's stirring up the city's unions, encouraging violence. The whole situation's out of hand. The feds can't nail him, and local politicians seem unwilling to crack down on him. Yeah, he's probably got him blackmailed. What do you need our help for? Well, officially, I'm just supposed to gather intelligence on Alejandro. But Mr. Roth and I have discussed it, and something else must be done. I hope you understand what I'm saying when I tell you it's in both our interests. If Alejandro were to just... Disappear. There's got to be a better way. The entire system is corrupt. Heard there was some shit going down at the airport. 
The working class never gets a break. It's unfair. There's got to be a better way. The entire system is corrupt. Listen to me. I'm only going to ask this once. Where's Alejandro Almeida? Almeida is my friend. I'll never tell you. Never. They're just making money off of our hard work. I'm getting out of here. Run! Oh, God. You win. Is this commie shithead worth your life? Then tell me, where's Almeida? Okay, okay. He and his men operate out of the old junkyard. It's not too far from here. Run! Get Follow me. Here. New York's way. I took care of your little problem, Mitchell. But I have a feeling I'll be seeing you again. Perhaps. You did a good job. You may not realize it now, but you did your country a favor. I won't forget it. Are you thinking of traveling with us today, sir? Have a pleasant flight, sir. Dominic, welcome back. Thanks. Uh, why all the men? What's, uh, what's going on? The government has me under investigation. They want to put me in prison. Wait for me in the parlor. The Senate is building a case. They have subpoenas for my businesses in Vegas, here, Florida. Dominic, they have someone who will testify against me. Who? Frank Pentangeli. Frank's dead. I, I saw him die. What you saw was Rosado setting me up. The detectives found him half dead, scared stiff, calling out loud that I turned on him. Me! It's been a while, son. How was Florida? It was good, Tom. Dominic, Tom Hagen has been my consigliere, and now my attorney. He's also family. If the Senate is coming for me, they'll be coming for him too. I need to isolate him from my operations. He's going to join your family and be your consigliere. Tom will be removed from my payroll. Al Neri will handle the transition. Tom, pay a visit to the Senator. Dominic, you're making a name for yourself. Make sure people respect it. Goodbye. Consigliere. Just like old times. It's good to have you in the family, Tom. I just wish it was under better circumstances. Me too. There's been a lot Mike hasn't been able to tell me. But it's safer this way for both of us. You're my consigliere, Tom. I won't keep any secrets from you. Now, who was Michael talking about earlier? What senator? His name is Pat Geary from Nevada. He's a chairman on the Senate committee that's investigating Michael. We're gonna get him on our side, Dominic, before this trial sees the light of day. It won't be easy. He's a United States senator. We can't just pay him off like some backwater judge. We won't have to. Sex is Geary's weakness. He's depraved. We're gonna use this against him. There's a brothel nearby. Some of the girls there are managed by a woman named Rosa Scarlatti. She runs a national prostitution ring. Not really our stock and trade, but she's been loyal to the Corleones for years. Rosa, hello. My name is Dominic. I know who you are. Tom told me you were coming. Did he tell you why I'm here? He did, and I can help. But you guys are asking me to sacrifice a lot. A life. I won't play along just out of loyalty, Dominic. You'll have to do something for me first. It's a deal. So what do you want? I want protection. Look, the state of New York has evidence that can bring down my whole operation. But if they go to trial, a lot of powerful men will have their dirty laundry aired in public. Men who would rather see me dead than on the witness stand. All right. What kind of evidence? Books, records, basically a list of every Tom, Dick, and Harry I've done business with, including some men in Washington. The books are being held in a safe at the Federal Building. Get them back for me. Then I'll help you out. Eh, I don't mind the overtime. Ah! Over there. 
Crack it. You wanna see what's behind door number one, Captain? Go, go. Go, go. Take a look. If they die, their blood's on your hands. Put Freeze. the guy down. Follow me. Now that the cops are bribed... Please tell me you've done something about those records. The state's got nothing on you, Rosa. Or your clients. You're all safe now. Good, then let's get down to brass tacks. I already started making arrangements with Tom. We have the room and we have the girl. If Geary ever shows up here, we'll be ready for him. Wait, you talked to Tom? When? Just now. He's here. He wanted to see the girl we'll set up with the senator. It wasn't easy knowing what will happen. But her time has come. She's an addict, bad for business. Maybe it's better this way. Hey, Daddy-o, like what you see? Hey, bartender. Tom, it sounds like everything's all set. Almost. The only thing left now is to convince Senator Geary to pay a visit. He'll have to do it of his own accord. If Geary feels coerced into coming, he might see it's a setup. I know. That's why you have to be careful how you talk to him. I've arranged a meeting for you. The senator thinks you want to talk about purchasing a company and that you need his help. Good. Now all I have to do is get Geary to take the bait. Best thing to do is to appeal to his vanity. Tell him you're having problems with the deal. Political problems, business problems, whatever seems to draw his attention. Geary's got connections. Make him think you're willing to deal if it'll get him on board. Now go. He's waiting for you. Senator Geary, my name is Dominic. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. This is a nice place your man Hagen found for us. But let's cut the bullshit. What did you want to talk to me about? Business, Senator. I have an opportunity to purchase a foreign company. But there are a few partners who refuse to sell. You know them. You worked at the trust together. I was hoping you could help. So your money talks the talk, but it can't walk the walk, is that it? Let me guess. These guys looked into what you really do for a living. Didn't like what they saw. So why should I help you? My portfolio is spotless, Senator. But I would never expect something for nothing. If you talk to these partners, help move the deal forward. I'll make sure you get a cut. Five percent. Five percent? Son, if you're asking for my help, you better understand that I intend to squeeze you. 25%. Because I'll do business with you. But the fact is, I despise you. And your kind of people. Don't insult me, Senator. We're both part of the same hypocrisy. So never think you're above me. You know this deal is valuable to me. And it can be valuable to you, too. Are you gonna help me? Maybe. And I'll tell you why. Because if this deal's as valuable as you say, I'm gonna want to keep an eye on you. Because I don't think this is about some foreign company. What's really in it for you? Respect, Senator. I need your help because I'm tired of being in Michael Corleone's shadow. Is that such a bad thing? To make a name for myself? And if we get rich in the process, so be it. Now we're getting somewhere. Say it ain't about business or politics about showing up your old boss. At least now you're being honest. So this deal, does anyone else know about it?
Just you, me, and Tom Hagen. I need to bring Tom in on this, but he can take from my share of the cut. But I want to move fast, so I need to know. Are you in or out? You know what? I don't have to like you, but I like your style. I'm in. I'll get my friends to help for a fee. But in deals like this, I usually expect there to be other benefits as well. Naturally. These partners have executive privileges at gentlemen's clubs all over America. If that's something that might interest you, I can make sure you get on the list, so to speak. Is that so? Yes. Well, indeed, I would like to be on that list. So to speak, of course. Well, Senator, as a token of my friendship, how would you like a complimentary stay at La Maison Rouge? In fact, feel free to visit any time you're in New York. You'll always be welcome. I like your style. Okay, Dominic, it's a deal. Thank you, Senator. I'll have Tom contact you with the details. You're all right. I'll see you around. Enjoy yourself, Senator. He's waking up. You should get over here. Thanks, Tom. I'm on my way. Tom? Come on, step away. I thought we could help you. Hagen, listen. I did not... I didn't do anything. I know. It's okay. You're very lucky I was called before anyone else. Nobody knows. Just a game. I... I'll fix it. How did it happen? I... I remember. She was laughing. I passed out. When I woke up, I was on the floor. <laughs> Senator, we're putting a call into your office. Explain that you'll be there tomorrow afternoon. You decided to spend the night at one of our hotels as a guest. Jesus! Pat, look at me. This girl has no family. Nobody knows that she worked here. It'll be as if she never existed. All that's left is our friendship. Stay here, Senator. Tom will send for someone to take you to the hotel. Dominic, I don't understand why I can't remember. That's good. The less you remember, the less you can talk about. But you can talk to me. Tell me, is there anything I should know? Anything that could help us both? Well, it, it may be nothing, but I chair the Committee on Organized Crime. I see papers and briefings. As far as we can tell, there's a new Cosa Nostra moving into Florida. Who? Who are they? The Mangano family, from Sicily. We thought they were going to set up shop in Cuba before the revolution. Now they've come here. I'm sorry, Dominic, that's all I know. Michael! What are you doing here? I didn't tell anyone I was coming. I came to speak with you about the Mangano family. So Tom already told you. Good. Then you know they're here, in Florida. Yes. And Dominic, this is good for us. Samuel Mangano has strong business connections in Sicily. He's a powerful boss, and I respect him. He's always been loyal to his friends. Well, does he have any friends here in America? Anyone he's allied with? I don't think so. I suspect Samuel's entire Florida operation is being bankrolled by him alone. That's a big risk, especially with the Granados so nearby. It's a risk he doesn't have to take. I'm gonna meet with them, set up a truce between our families. Don Mangano sounds like someone I want to have on my side. Good. But if things don't work out with Mangano, just walk away. Don't cross him. If he doesn't agree to the truce, so be it. But don't make him your enemy. Samuel is not someone who forgives easily. Don Mangano. It's an honor. It's been a long time since we last met. See si, in Cuba. A bad day. We lost nearly everything in the revolution. Tell me, 
How did your family fare? Not good. We lost some loyal men. But whatever doesn't kill us makes us stronger, right? That's right. We survive and learn from our mistakes. And one thing I have learned since then is never go into business without someone you trust. Dominic, I've purchased this warehouse for some export work. But I respect that Florida is your territory, so I want to operate it in partnerships with your family. I want to form an alliance with you. Will you agree? Yes. You have my blessing and my friendship. We'll be strong together, Don Mangano. And I hope that this alliance will mean even better things in the future. I'll see you around. Get out of here! Fredo, what's happening? I hope you don't mind. I made myself a drink. You want me to get you something? No, thanks. This heat. It's something else. On the rocks. Keeps you cool. You got a point. So, what did you want to see me about? It's about Michael. What about him? I was just wondering. Back in Cuba, when Mr. Roth... <laughs> You okay? No, I'm not okay. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I didn't see who did it. They got away too fast. I'll tell you who did it. That backstabber Mangano. I think you're right. Damn it. Why would Mangano double-cross us? Who knows? But he sure as hell didn't come here to make friends. We're on the street is he's smuggling men and guns into Florida. He's getting ready for a war, Dominic. He's probably been playing you since the day you landed. So what are you saying? Did we hit him back? Eye for an eye. Get him now while he's weak. I know a guy, a union boss, who can get us into their warehouse. Take over the place. Run Mangano out. Trust me on this. Okay. If Mangano's preparing for war, then that piece of shit's gonna get one. And Dominic, you'll need more muscle. You got a lot of good guys in your family. Make one of them another capo. This is your best chance to wipe out those bastards. Don't waste it. You Charlie Green? Maybe. Depends on who's asking. My name is Dominic. I'm a friend of Fredo Corleone's. Ah, Fredo. I ain't seen that son of a bitch in months. If Fredo sent you, it can only mean one thing. That one of you guys needs something from me. I need bridge access to the warehouse. Your union guys ain't gonna help me unless you give the okay. Ask around about me. People will tell you I know how to return a favor. Well, lucky for you, I have a situation on my hands. This new guy, Hector Santos, he's gunning for my job, but he plays dirty. I need him to disappear. Hector's been spreading money around, buying votes. He's even hired thugs to harass my family. Take care of him for me and you'll get across that bridge. I never understood your taste in women. I'm right over there! If it ain't one thing. Don't hurt me!
Lower the bridge. I need to get across. You got it. Mr. Green already called ahead with the authorization. Don't make me fucking shoot you. Don't do it. Listen to me. Fucking pay attention. How could you? Don't do anything you'll regret. Well, yeah, take a look, found. asshole. On, it's a man. long Pull way down. Up. Sorry, you get frickin' surrounded. Uh, I'll pay. These shitheads you're working for ain't worth your life. Let me control the action here. Got it? All right. You want this place? It's yours. Okay, I'm coming. Mangano's been pretty quiet, Tom. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's neither. It's just his way. Still, he might try to get in contact with us. Yes. Who's this? Samuel Mangano, you stabbed me in the back, Philly Bagasa. Stab you in the back? You sent gunmen to my home, Mangano. My home. You lie. I did no such thing. I saw your men with my own two eyes, Mangano. Don't think you can bullshit me. I'm telling you the truth, Dominic. Look, we need to have a sit down. Your family and mine. Meet me behind the old factory. I cannot say any more over the telephone. Solid in the pocket back there. Maldita, I forgot to buy milk. These Manganos are starting to make me sick. Yeah? Well, just keep your shit together a while longer. Now's not the time to make mistakes. What's with these guys? Peace, war, peace, war. Make up your goddamn mind. Over here, Dominic. Dumbass. You don't know from nothing. I smell an asshole. Who are you? Where's Samuel? Don Mangano doesn't deal with backstabbers, asshole. My name is Paolo. I'm his consigliere. Backstabber? You guys tried to have me killed, Paolo. Is that what you think? Let me tell you something. If we wanted to kill you, you'd already be dead. Fuck you. Don't think you can threaten me. You know who I am. Yeah, you're a shit. 
You gave us your word and you broke it. You think that's gonna fly with a Sicilian? The Manganos gave you a chance and you fucked up. I don't have to fucking listen to this. Yeah, Dominic, you do. Cause it's the last thing you're ever gonna hear. You are history. Your men, dead. Your businesses, they belong to us now. It's time your family learns how we do things in the old country. You're a dead man. The Manganos are at war, Fredo. We have to warn Michael. No. Don't bring Michael into this. Why not? He could be in trouble. Don't you see? The trial. He can't get involved. The Senate will be all over him. We gotta go to Mr. Roth. He knows the Manganos. He'll know how to fix this. Son of a fucking bitch. Monopoly's gone. Now what? If Don Corleone finds out about this... Shit, we'll all get it. I got blitzed at Hoodie's party last night. Roth. He's a survivor, what did I tell you? Somebody's watching over you. Sicilians are not known for their mercy. It's been chaos. The important thing is that you're all right. There's gonna be more bloodshed. Nobody wants another war. I can settle matters with Mangano, but I can't help you unless you're willing to help me. Can you see it? Dominic, it's our future. Cuba, 90 miles away. No goddamn Justice Department, no FBI. That was the past. Don't give up on Cuba. Not yet. Why not? Because we haven't given up. The CIA wants to change in Cuba as much as you do. We have different agendas, but we have the same goal. And we have resources, intelligence. The only thing we don't have is a way to get inside. Anyone can get inside Cuba. Smugglers do it all the time. That's not what I mean. Look, we want to restore order there. We funded dissidents, staged invasions, but None of these things are working. It's time for a new approach. No more big operations this time. Just one man inside, close to the government. Someone the Cubans feel they can trust. And what's this someone gonna do? Kill Castro. Bring back the president. And we're trying to protect this country from communists, Dominic. You can be a part of that. Think about the possibilities. No more enemies. Partnership with a democratic government in Cuba. And having the cash to make everything possible. And the U.S. would turn a blind eye to any money you make there. Dominic, we'd be bigger than U.S. Steel. Just one puff and he started acting pretty wacky. I don't want to be kept in the dark, Mitchell. If I'm gonna do this, you gotta tell me everything. Naturally. The plan's simple, really. We're going to exploit Castro's two weaknesses. The political dissidents and his economic problems. The dissidents? They're loyal to the ex-president, right? You said you were supporting them. We'll cut ties when you arrive. 
I hate to sacrifice them, but it's the only way to get close. Castro has basically declared open season on the ex-president supporters. Anyone who takes up arms against them is considered a hero of Castro's so-called revolution. So I start a campaign against them and make friends with the government. What then? I'll use my sources to spread information about you. That you're sympathetic to the revolution, maybe looking to expatriate. But more importantly, that you have strong business ties in the West. Well, that part's true. Exactly. So if they look into it, your story checks out. Dominic, all you have to do is play along. It'll get you close to Castro. Believe me, closer than anyone before. And once he's gone, we prop up the ex-president and purge the Reds. After that, anything you want from Cuba is yours. Assassinating Castro? This is serious shit we're talking about here. Mitchell's plan better work. I know it will. He's never let me down, not once. Cuba was prosperous. We'll see it prosper again. Is it safe to talk here? Cubans know how to respect your privacy. One of the few things we can learn from them. Come on, let's get down to business. All right then, business. So, have you done your part yet? Yes. We spread the word through all our channels. Everyone's talking. If there's an important American in the country, he supports the revolution. The government thinks you want to expatriate. They're reading it up. Okay, so what next? I'm going to give you information on a number of dissidents in the city. You need to take them out, but do it carefully. It needs to draw the government's attention, but it has to be the right kind of attention. Understand? Don't worry about me. I'll keep up my end of the bargain. Good. It shouldn't be long before someone takes notice. Let them make the first move, though. Make them feel like they're in charge. And Dominic, don't forget your cover. Remember, you support this regime. It's the only way to get close. Good luck. Señor Dominic, mucho gusto. Bienvenido. Hola. Uh, sorry, I don't speak Spanish. I know. I am your translator for tomorrow's meeting. Follow me. One day, this palace will be a museum. What kind of museum? Un museo de la revolución. Can you tell me what this meeting is about? Didn't anyone tell you? The revolution. And why you, Senor Dominique? Un Americano. Apparently want to join the struggle. There are more of us who support your cause than you think. See, si. But very few come to Cuba and risk their lives to fight dissidents. Especially ones with unusual business ties. The American embargo is hurting our people. We need to get our exports out. We need money. But most of all, we need a partner. Someone with access to boats, ports, and officials in the United States. That is why you are here. You will stay here tonight, as a guest of El Presidente. Thank you. Your equipment will be secured until after the meeting. I will meet you in the morning. And please, do not wander at night. I hope you understand. Si. Buenas noches. It's no last words, and no last requests. <laughs> Ah! <clears throat> 
You don't have You should have run when you had the fucking chance. Busca el palacio. Un médico. Shit. Fidel. Fidel. Está vivo. Busca el palacio. Sí. Vete. Ten listos a tus hombres. Busca el palacio. Who did this? ¿Dónde está? El americano. No lo encuentro. Dominic. I know you did this. Come out. Maybe you're afraid because I'm a stranger. I'm Esteban Almeida. I'm like you, un mafioso. But I don't hide like a coward. This government understands men like us, what we can do for them. We keep them in power. Too bad for you I was here first. And I'm coming for you, Americano. I'm coming. Por aquí, aquí. Right over there. Say your prayers. Gotcha. 
Still there? <laughs> What's going on? El Presidente. The American tried to kill him. But Castro's alive? Si. God damn it, Dominic. Thank God. Dominic will pay for this. We will not be stopped, my friend. I don't know what to tell you, Mike. Then tell me everything. Dominic, come in here. I warned you not to go against the Manganos. I thought, the both of us thought, the Mangano tried to have us killed. And you don't come to me? With the trial, it seemed best not to get you involved. So you turned to Roth? Fredo, whose idea was that? Mine. You're my brother, Fredo. And I love you. 
but to go to Roth without telling me. You put yourself ahead of the family. You've never seen the big picture, Fredo. Now the Manganos are at war with us. This Cuban family, they muscle in, backed up by God knows who? Is there anything you can help me out with? Anything you can tell me now? It was Roth's plan to cross the Manganos. Roth's plan? I swear to God, I didn't know there'd be a war. He told me the Manganos were weak. That if I can get Dominic to help him out in Cuba, it'd be good for the family. Roth's back in the Almeidas. He's playing us. He said there'd be something in it for me. On my own. I've always taken care of you, Fredo. Taking care of me? How? Set Fredo off to do this. Set Fredo off to do that. I'm your older brother, Mike, and I was stepped over. Twice. It's the way Pop wanted it. Well, ain't the way I wanted it. Fredo, you're nothing to me now. Not even a brother. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. Mikey. I don't want anything to happen to him while Roth's alive. Michael, I'm sorry. I never wanted things to turn out like this. You made a mistake, Dominic. You're a Don. You have to know who you can trust. I know I have your loyalty, but it's like my father told me. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. You're right. I just never thought that it'd be Fredo. Damn it. Listen, I can help. I want to make things right. Good. Look, the Senate investigation is moving forward. Geary's doing what he can, but I can't take any chances. Not with Frank Pentangeli on the witness stand. So, I've arranged for a backup plan. What is it? I contacted a source in Sicily and found Frank's brother. His name is Vincenzo. He came here right away. He's a man of honor, a Don in his hometown. Vincenzo understands the importance of Omerta. Something Frank has forgotten. What do you plan to do? Bring Vincenzo to the trial. If Frank is going to testify against me, he'll have to do it in front of his own brother. Blood is thicker than water, Dominic. Here, Tom will tell you more. Tom, I just found out about Vincenzo. I know. He's been very helpful. Vincenzo has been staying at your safe house here in New York. He finds it incredible that Frank would testify about this thing of ours. What's the next step? Meet with Vincenzo. Introduce yourself. He needs an escort to the hearing. I don't expect any trouble, but with Roth and the Almeidas working together, we have to be careful. And one more thing. I think the time is right for you to promote one of your captains to underboss. We need the extra leadership, especially now. And an underboss can also give you more support in battle. Make your choice carefully. It's an important one. Tom. Vincenzo's not here, and someone killed his bodyguard. My God, he could be in serious trouble. Or dead. No, he's not dead. His kidnappers would be too smart for that. Vincenzo has to make it to the hearing. We have to find him, fast. Uh, I agree. Ask around. Someone must have seen something. But if you get a lead, make sure it checks out. But hurry, Michael's counting on you. <laughs> Are you all right? Tutte bene. Who... who are you? My name is Dominic. I'm a friend of Michael Corleone. Michael? The trial? It is too late. My brother, Frank. We still have time. I'll take you there, but we have to hurry. Okay, take me there. I cannot allow Frank to do this, to break a murder to burn in hell. And the ammo. Will everyone be seated?
We have here today a witness who will testify to Michael Corleone's rule over a crime empire that controls all the gambling in this country. He can corroborate enough charges to recommend a count of perjury against Michael Corleone. Senator? Thank you, Mr. Pentangeli. Mr. Pentangeli, were you a member of the Corleone family? Did you serve under Vito Corleone, also known as the Godfather? I never known no godfather. I got my own family, Senator. Mr. Pentangeli, you are contradicting a sworn statement. I ask you again, were you a member of a crime organization headed by Michael Corleone? I don't know nothing about that. Oh, I was in the, uh, in the olive oil business with his father, but that was a long time ago. We have an affidavit that you murdered on the orders of Michael Corleone. The FBI guy promised me a deal, so I made up a lot of stuff about Michael because that's what they wanted, and I kept saying, Michael Corleone did this, and uh, Michael, Michael Corleone did that, but it was all lies. I'm going to find out what the hell happened here. Senator! Senator! I move to adjourn this committee. The committee owes this man an apology. The witness is now excused. <laughs> Senator Geary looked like he was about to shit his pants up there. In trouble. Christ, can you imagine if we didn't get here in time? Thank God you did. I could see it in him. Frank was gonna talk, <laughs> but it's over now. You should go ahead and speak with Michael. He's in the defense chambers. And, and what the hell? Just like that, in front of everyone. I told you he would. I don't get you people. Congratulations, Michael. The plan worked. It's over. It's not over. Not yet. Pat, where's Henry Mitchell? I don't know. The CIA can't find him. I think he's turned, working for another family. Mitchell's like a bad penny. He'll turn up. You better hope he doesn't. And why not? Mitchell was working with Roth. Anything Roth knows, Mitchell knows. About us, about you. Christ, he could sell us out. Or what if he goes public? About Cuba? What if he talks? He won't talk. I want him gone. I want them all gone. Michael. I mean it, Tom. Mitchell, the Almeidas, everyone. They'll keep coming for us, for our families. You've won. Do you have to wipe everyone out? I don't feel I have to wipe everyone out. Just my enemies. That's all. I'm leaving for Vegas soon, so I'll be brief. Do you understand what I'm saying? Of course. My family will always support you. Good. All of them, Dominic. Every family, every racket, every made man. And Henry Mitchell, too. He's probably a bigger threat than you realize. No. I know how dangerous he can be. Okay, Michael. Leave it to me. Thank you. This is a critical moment for you and for your family. What you do now will make history. <laughs> Their blood is on your hands. You want to die? Is that it? If they die, their blood's on your hands. Over here. He's 
over there! Right there. I'm safe. 
I'm moving in. Stay up. Let's sneak up on him. No way. Crack it. One more turn and He's still out there. Let him rip. Oh my. Last tumbler. Hold on. Solid. That's a good place for me to do my thing. Stay behind me. Set a okay. bomb there. Over here. It's finished. They're all gone. You should contact Don Corleone. Let him know. Yeah, okay. Keep your eyes open for a phone. Check out that wreck! Whoa. 
boss, the cops. Tom, how's it going? Where are you? Florida. I'm here with Michael. Now come to the safe house when you're ready. There's something we need to discuss. Goodbye. This door looks pretty old, boss. You've done it, Dominic. The Almeidas, the Manganos, everybody. They're gone because of you. You've made a name for yourself. A name that people respect. Don Corleone. Thank you, Michael. It's an honor. But there's one more thing you want to do, isn't there? Yes. Hyman Roth. He's still alive. But he's out of the country. There's no way to get to him. No. He's here, in Florida. Senator Geary had him extradited on corruption charges. He lands at the airport soon. Whoa! The airport? Trying to kill him there would be impossible. They'll turn him over to the Internal Revenue Service, Customs, and half the FBI. It'll be like trying to kill the president. It's not impossible. Nothing's impossible. Just talk to Tom. If anything in this life is certain, if history has taught us anything, is that you can kill anybody. Hitting Roth in such a public place, it's gonna be dangerous. Yes, but you may never get another chance. He'll probably be arraigned and taken into custody. Once he's in the system, there'll be no way to get to him. How did you get him back in the country? Geary called in a favor. He had Roth extradited on corruption charges. He's been living abroad, making new contacts. It doesn't surprise me that Michael is worried. Hyman Roth can be very persuasive. Roth is going to be protected. What are we looking at? He'll have some protection. How tight it is, I couldn't say. Expect him to be decently guarded, maybe by professionals. It won't be easy to get into the airport packing heat. No, it won't. You can probably bribe someone to avoid going through the metal detectors. But once you're inside, you'll have airport security to deal with as well, so bring some men you can trust. Underestimate him. Hyman Roth is a smart man. Smart and dangerous. Be ready for anything. Nobody got hurt. Simon Roth is going to be protected, not just with his own men, but by the cops. When are you going to give me your sister's number? Look, I know who you are, so you can be straight with me. What do you want? All right, then let's be straight. 
I need to get through and speak with Mr. Roth. It's worth quite a lot to me. Know what I mean? Glad we understand each other. Okay, go through the back. Just whatever your business is, make sure nobody gets hurt. My friends work here. Hold up! Over here, on, boss. Whatever you want, it's yours. You betrayed me, Roth. Why? Tell me. Because that's the life we chose. It was only business, Dominic. <clears throat> What's the fight? So what'd you forget to do in this life? Now look what you made. It could be someplace else. The cops are on us. Let's stick together. This. Just say the word.
I forgot to tell you, last night, they wasn't just sisters, they was twins! It's over. I know. I always knew you'd make it. Come with me. You've earned something. Godfather, it's an honor. Dominic, you proved something today. You proved that I was right about you. And you've earned my respect. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Fredo, I'm sorry. 